Did you know that 13.8 billion years ago, there was a Big Bang? Yeah? Can you tell me what happened in the Big Bang? Like, uh, I don't know anything in the Big Bang, but I know mm -hmm. like, it's like, like, past, like, when time passed, like, yeah, when the happened? solar system got born. Like, uh, when the sun was born, the solar system was like, was like, was like, kind of totally chaos because lots of asteroids were like, were like, were like, like uh, were crashing, were crashing, and yeah. then after mm -hmm. that, things come down, and then, uh, planets were formed because and then the planets were formed, mm -hmm. like Mars. Mars, Earth. Mercury, Venus, Earth. But I don't know how the gas planets were formed. Um, I think that the gas planets because maybe that the sun, you know that the sun is made of hydrogen and helium, maybe that the gas planets are actually a tiny piece of the sun and it's quite cool and then there's a core inside and then it was rotating and revolving around the core. Maybe that could be how. Yeah. There yeah. might be. And also about the Big Bang, there's this place called the inflation period. And that, like, so, so, so the universe was extremely tiny. And then during the inflation, it grew extremely fast. So, so it grew into the universe as in, as we know it. Like, if you see graphs, it would usually start off as tiny and then suddenly there would be this huge leap. And that huge leap is called the inflation period. And you know that you're actually made of the dust of stars? Yeah? Yeah, because like, you know that the stars, people say that the stars are called a forge because when the heavy stars, they will fuse elements. Can you tell more about the fusion, about them? Uh, about the fusion of new elements in the stars' course? Oh, uh, so they, I forgot about it or like i mean like when hydrogen fuses to helium yeah yeah can you hydrogen fused to helium and then that's only in main sequence stars mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then you know that there's these really large stars and those really large stars they can go and fusing like they can keep on fusing until oxygen until carbon until neon and until they reach iron and if they reach iron then, then the iron will grow and then of that and then it and then death will happen to the stars because iron is nuclear acid and then gravity is like, is like squeezing it's like trying like punching the iron and then the, there's no core and then the and then mm -hmm. the star will explode in supernova and then go to a neutron star yeah and you know but what? also when neutron stars collide together, yeah, they will become a black hole. But some of the gas that are created by neutron stars will create stars like our sun. So like, um, because like maybe people say that like, oh wait, it's only up to iron. So how is gold and silver or uranium made? And then like, and then actually because when two neutron stars collide, although it's very rare, it produces so much matter that the neutrons and protons they get ripped apart and then they get formed again to make new atoms so people believe that's how gold and platinum and all the other he heavy elements beyond iron are formed and also a lot of star which is steam engine to 18 yeah is not bigger than than uh than the solar system because you know like Steam Engine 218 will is the size of Saturn's distance. Mm. So but assume... Steam Engine 218 is a hypergiant, mm -hmm. and hypergiants are are they like the largest stars known, but in their giant phase. Yeah, like there's this star called Pisces Star, Wolkasopia, and Gaprox. Gaprox is in uh, like I think it's a red, red, red giant. So, pistol star might be the size of Gacrux, and Gacrux might be the size of a star called R one three six A one. Can you oh, tell me about R one three six A one? Oh, R one three six A one. It loses gas. Hmm? 
Yeah, what? it loses Why? gas, but then but then it still lives. And then but then for first but, but for some like seconds, that means a gas will go out because of its coil. The coal will like push out the gas and then. Oh, so does that mean that um there's so much energy from the fusion that the gravity can't counteract it? Is that why? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. But also, also there's this star called World Cassiopeia. I might be the size of Pistol Star. The Stevenson 218 is like really I don't know. Yeah, like really large. Mm -hmm. How large? Uh, it will nearly swallow Saturn. Oh, so like, so if the uh, so if Stevenson twenty two were replaced with the sun, then it would replace Saturn. So no, like, it won't replace Uranus, Saturn. You know, that means he would that means consume Saturn, or would it be like between Saturn would be the new Mercury, or would it yeah. be Uranus would be the closest planet, or is it Saturn's the closest planet? Saturn will be. Like the closest planet, but but if you actually go in space, that means you can see that Saturn is nearly getting swallowed by Stevenson 2018. Oh, wait, yeah, and you know what? Scientists they have a theory that a partial amount of hydrogen in us comes from the Big Bang, yeah, yeah, and that's really awesome. So, and also, you yeah. observe. You also, the universe is expanding. Mm -hmm. And do you know how that expands? That's because of dark energy. Mm -hmm. Like, this, I'm not sure it's accelerating because of dark energy. Yeah. But also, there's the closest galaxy. Yeah, what's the closest galaxy? Wait, the closest it, galaxy uh, is the Andromeda galaxy. Oh. It's like... It's, yeah. it's like really, it's really close, but it's actually really far from if we see. So is it the closest galaxy to us, but it's still really far? Mm -hmm. uh, Imagine if we use like mine, like, like get like get like all, like all of our energy we have, like the mine uranium for the energy and all the other stuff, all that gives energy, and launch a paper, it will not be inside Andromeda galaxy. That that be but also in the four point five billion years Andromeda will collide with the Milky Way. So wait, I think I heard about this. Maybe it will make something called Milk Dromeda. Is that correct? Milk Dromeda. Or it might be a different name so Milk Dromeda. Wait no but um, I think that they're calling it Milk Dromeda and not any other name. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think, I think it's Milk Dromeda. Mm -hmm. No. So how much do you like space? Oh, uh, like, like, it's my hobby. Oh, so you love doing space? Yeah. Why do you like it? Oh, that's because I, I kept watching space stuff and then I was like so addicted to it. Then I just, then I was like, can I just have space? Can I just have space? And then on my birthday, you I had, had a space toy. You had a space toy, and then you had these books. And I, th I think we found them um, in a box or something. Is yeah, we found them. Yeah, we found them in a box. So, um, but for me, I like, um, you know, I like space. I like biology. I like chemistry. And um, yeah, like I don't think those um, oh, those topics also, really blend together. But and also. Hmm. In one million years, which is quite long, but yeah, it's very long. Yeah, it's very long. A star called Gliese Seven Ten will come. Gliese Seven Ten. Mm. Wait, so like, where will it come? Uh, in one million years, will it be be born? Like, because when it will come, will it like be in the night sky, or will it um like 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 will it enter the solar system mm -hmm. inside the Earth? It will like if it's more inside the earth inside here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Imagine that. Mm -hmm. That means we could see we could what? see so the star. So I'm saying that um Gliese seven ten will come to us in a million years, like a hundred percent. Yeah. A hundred percent, yeah. Wait Wait. So we need Wait, a hundred percent? How do we wait Wait, I'm confused. Like 
Wait, what do you mean by like 100%? How do you, how, how do you know? Uh, it will come in a million years. Will it actually come near the inner solar system? If we are unlucky, it might come into oh. the inner solar system. Oh, but if so we are too lucky, seven, ten might. If we are too lucky, that means it will pass through. But the but the but the thing is, what makes it dangerous is that outside the ash. The Kuiper Belt. There's the old cloud, and if and when the star enters it, that means the asteroids will get will lose out of orbit, and then will smash down to Earth. So how do we prevent that from happening? Like uh, like laser, like you know, you know that sometimes um like because like people I don't no think. because like in science fiction, I think we have like this thing where they have these laser turrets, and then they shoot the meteors, and then they protect it, like. Do you think that we could do that? Mm. So if we are actually like, remember what I said, if Gleason 7 and 10 will be close to us, like a bit close, that means we will go out of orbit. Mm. Because like but the then, gravitational pull would be... But then if it doesn't go and goes on Mars, mm -hmm. that means it will be good. Because that means we won't get, we won't get launched back. Wait, um... So, I think that we've talked um, quite enough about space. Wait, may maybe next time we could continue this conversation, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the conversation. Bye. Bye. Bye.